Hey guys, um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And by back, I mean welcome to my channel because I literally never post. Today I'm gonna be doing a Q&A. Um, a lot of people voted that they wanted this. Um, over a thousand people also voted no. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm gonna pretend that I know what I'm doing here. I asked you guys to submit your juiciest questions to me and to not hold back. So I promise you there's gonna be a lot of crazy questions in here. Once I sifted through the thousands of questions asking if I was gay or not, I was able to find some pretty interesting questions. So let's get started. First up from Quinn Miller, my brother, when do you move into LA? Um, so I live in Minnesota right now, for those of you that don't know. Um, I just recently went out to LA for a few weeks and had time of my life. I'm going back in a week. Um, I really do want to move out to LA at some point. I'm also a student and I'm in college right now and I'm also living at home rent free. So I'm probably going to be here another year and take advantage of that and spend time with my family and then hopefully move out to somewhere in the LA area next year. When did you lose your virginity? <laughs> Okay, you know my mom is literally gonna watch this video. You'd be surprised how many people wanted to know that. Story time about your first kiss. My first kiss was when I was 15 and it was my first love. It was a guy, believe it or not. Oh my God. It was actually like not awkward at all. It was it was very sweet, wholesome, normal, great guy. Um, if you're watching this. Do you have a crush or are you in a relationship? Yes. I definitely have a crush. Have you ever stole something? No, I have never stolen. What inspired you to do the eyebrow face? Love it, by the way. So what inspired me to do the eyebrow face was actually um, a long time ago. I think I was like 11 or 12 and I was making fun of my sister's friend. Um, then I just started doing it because it's fun as hell. Like, okay. If you've ever had a girlfriend or boyfriend, would you allow friends of opposite genders? Yeah, honestly, like I've had two boyfriends total. Um, I don't care who you're friends with. I think it's more of a trust thing. If you trust somebody, there's no reason they shouldn't be able to be friends with whoever they want. You know, if you don't have a reason not to trust them, I don't see the issue. Um, but as I've learned in the past, it certainly can be an issue sometimes, even when they say it's not. So. <laughs> How many siblings you got? I have three siblings, two younger brothers and a sister. Here's a picture. How did you find out you were gay and how did you come out? So I came out in 2019 after hiding a relationship from my parents and basically everyone for like six months, or at least I thought I was, but it was like pretty, it was pretty obvious. I ended up coming out after I went to Pride for the first time, actually. I went to Pride in Minneapolis and I think that's the first time that I didn't feel alone, I guess. Um, I felt like there were so many other people around me that were supportive and just like me. And I don't know, it, it really gave me a confidence boost and then I ended up coming out to my family a few days after that and they were super loving and supportive and they're the most supportive people in the world. How did you find out you were gay? Um, the underwear aisle at Target. Um, okay, before I go any further, okay, shut up, shut up. Are you a good kisser? Don't skip. Okay, I'm not skipping the question. Um, I haven't ever been told I'm a bad kisser, so. Your story with your ex. So there's multiple. Uh, my first ex and I dated for almost a year, so that's probably like the biggest story, but um, best relationship ever, so unproblematic, um, so special. He ended up being forced to move with his family, and we did long distance for a while. Um, I can make a whole nother video on this if y'all want story time. It was, it was magical. Um, right around Christmas break, he was going to come out here to see me, and he dumped me um, and said he needed to focus on himself and started dating a new guy two weeks later. A guy that he always told me not to worry about. <laughs> Just girly things, but. This is the worst grade you've had in math. So actually last semester, I got a D in stats and had to retake the class this summer. I took my final uh, on the floor of an Airbnb on TikTok Live with Janelle and Sophie. Got an A, I got an A this- I've never been good at math, literally ever. What are your hobbies? So besides creating content, like, you know, videos and stuff, um, singing is my number one hobby. I've been singing basically my whole life for as long as I can remember. I was very active with choir. Theater as well was a huge hobby of mine. And I think it's been really nice to be able to channel my acting and like, you know, stuff like that through the internet now that I'm out of high school. My theater director in high school is also just mean. Never ever got a lead role or anything significant for that matter. I was always told basically that I like wasn't fit enough to like do the job. Look at me now! I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. I make fun of myself on the internet every day for money. 
Um, I can act though. Where are you from? So I've kind of lived all over the place. Um, I live in Minnesota right now, um, but I was born in North Dakota, uh, moved to Texas for a couple years, moved to Colorado, moved to Tennessee, and then moved here about five years ago, which is stressful in some ways, but it's also been awesome because I've got to see so many different places and experience so many different things. Celebrity crush. So Ariana Grande has been a long time celebrity crush. Um, Nessa Barrett, Madison Beer. Those are my celebrity crushes for girls. For guys, um, I don't know his name. Um, this dude from 13 Reasons Why season three. Still thinking about ya. Timothy Chalamet, for sure. That's all I got. That's all I got. Are you in college? Yes, I'm in community college right now. Um, I'm fully online next semester. I'm trying to finish my two years and get my associates, but I really do want to get a bachelor's degree. I'm trying to go into strategic communication. What is the weirdest place you've hooked up with somebody? I have never hooked up with anybody. I get attached to people so fast. Like that would literally be- How old are you? I'm 19 years old. What are the top three ways you deal with stress? Um, <laughs> I don't. Honestly, the number one way that I've been able to deal with stress the past couple years is to channel it into my videos. I love self-deprecating humor. A lot of the old videos I used to make were like ironic, weird quotes, but um, I was like in a really dark place during that time going through a bad breakup and those videos helped me a lot. I also deal with my stress um, through listening to music. If I'm mad about something or angry or whatever emotion I'm feeling, I immediately start um, writing. I love to write songs. What's your favorite position? Um, this one's a really good one and it's really hard to choose just one, but I would say, Safety Net is my favorite song off of Positions. Are you happy at the moment? Um, yes, I am very happy. Um, I'm single right now, which can kind of suck sometimes, but honestly, I don't mind that either because I've had a really busy life lately, um, but I'm very content. I'm also very thankful for all of you guys. You guys make my life so amazing. Um, I look forward to interacting with you guys every single day. What's the best purchase you've made in your life? Um, concert tickets are always the best purchase. I never feel bad. Another best purchase was my ticket to LA a couple weeks ago. Um, I had never been to LA before. I'd been to San Francisco and a couple other areas in California, but never LA. Um, and yeah, it was, it was the coolest trip ever. So that's probably second place. Who's the last person you dated? The last person I dated was like three or four months ago at this point, but I'm really not in a hurry to get into in a relationship right now. Well, it would depend. What are your goals before summer ends? My goals before summer ends are to go to San Diego and LA, which will be next week. How many X's do you have? Two. Your Starbucks order. I love shaken espressos. Have you ever caught a partner cheating? Um, yes. Very fun. What's a life lesson you've had to learn the hard way? Um, I would say to never give your trust away too easily. Um, I think it's important though to be careful with your trust, um, protect yourself. What is your height? I'm 5'8". If you had one question to ask someone who hurt you deeply, what would the question be? Are you really happier now than you were before? How did you start uploading videos on TikTok slash who inspired you to? Um, I started posting on TikTok um, very beginning of quarantine, um, right as it started. It was not planned at all. I literally made like some video about like online school and like Zoom. And it just got like a couple hundred likes or something and that was it like i was like oh my god like that's so cool what's your favorite color this color right here with my leds um lavender is my favorite color this is pretty close but a little lighter i would say what do you think about your haters um honestly i think your haters are just as important as your lovers i never ever filter my comments or delete anything i figure I would rather have 10,000 hate comments than zero comments because you are getting me more views in reality. Um, the more people that love you, the more people that hate you. Most embarrassing high school memory. Um, oh, there's a lot. Um, I would say um, getting out into the school was kind of embarrassing. Um, which relationship broke you the most when it ended? Um, my first one for sure. Um, I just think it felt almost too good to be true. Like I had the perfect boyfriend. I was very, very content with my life and it just, it really hit me out of nowhere. It was really random. I wasn't expecting it at all. Um, and then I think what hurt more was just being replaced so quickly. Um, it just made me question myself a lot. Um, but yeah, I came out stronger from it in the end and it was a great learning experience and I'm very thankful to have made the memories that I did. Have you ever had a crush who liked you back? Um, with both of my exes, they liked me first. Favorite Ariana song? Favorite Ariana song is Goodnight and Go. Um, it has been for like years. 
Honestly, I think it's like my favorite song of all time. It's just such a good song. I just have such an attachment with it. Um, I associate it with a very like special time in my life and yeah, it just takes me back. What would your dream job be? I'm basically doing it right now. I'd love to make music. I'd love to release an album someday. Um, and I've always wanted to do that. So hopefully I will get to do that at some point. I think that'd be really cool. Do you have a tattoo? Um, I don't have any tattoos at all. I've thought about getting them, but I'm also very indecisive and like, I feel like I'd regret something if I got it. Do you write your own songs? If yes, please sing one for us. I do write my own songs. Hopefully if everything goes according to plan, you'll hear one at some point. Do people ever assume that you're gay? <laughs> never, that never happens. Ever. What are your future plans and how do you want to execute them? My future plans are to move out to LA, get my bachelor's degree, release a song, release an album. Do you wear makeup from time to time? Yes, um, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I just wear a little bit, um, but I like brush my eyebrows with like clear gel. I also wear the Rem Beauty um, mascara like every single day. Um, sometimes I wear like a little highlight on my nose. Um, but that's about it. What do you think of Sophie Morelli? Do you like her and do you think she is super cool? Honestly, Sophie, fake AF. My mom asks, do you like being the oldest sibling? Um, yes, I do like being the oldest sibling. I think for the most part, favorite music slash artists. Um, I will listen to pretty much any kind of music. Um, I'd say pop, R&B, alternative, favorite artists. Um, Ariana Grande for sure. I'm also obsessed with Doja Cat, um, Frank Ocean. Um, I really like Nessa Barrett's music. I can't wait for her album. Do you get recognized in public? Um, yes. People are always so sweet. Honestly makes my day every single time. Um, it's so cool. Have you ever broke up with someone and immediately regretted it? I've never broke up with anyone. I've only gotten broken up with. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching my video today. If there's anything else that you guys want to see, leave it in the comments. I'd appreciate it if you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and also turn on the notifications so you don't miss a future video. I will see you guys in the next video.